The assets panel is a central part of Affinity Photo. You can store anything, literally anything can be stored here in assets for future use. So I'm just gonna go and create a shape, just a triangle, very basic triangle, and I can add effects to it, as well as adjustments, layer, new light filter layer, and down to blur and motion blur. Close that, and now select the move tool, select the shape and the effect, Go to the Assets panel. You can find the Assets panel in View Menu, Studio and Assets. Go down to the second entry here and click Add from Selection. And you will see it added very quickly to the selection here in Assets. You can remove it, just delete that. In future, you can just simply just drag over and drag another one and drag another one. So you've got three designs, all exactly the same. You can expand it out and you can see the motion blur still attached to it, as well as the triangle shape. So motion blur, you can double click and you can change it. Just modify the setting and you can see then, just change it like that and close the panel. You can also change the color, the triangle tool, select that and go over here to the fill and just change the color, maybe make it pink. You can still also add that to the assets as well. Just go over here and add from selection again with the same right side menu. And you can see it added there. You can also add groups of shapes. So just go over here, triangle tool, just as good as any shape, and I can add multiple copies there. With that, I can select all of the shapes. If I add them now using this asset scene, they will be added as three separate items. But what you can do, go to layers, and you can right click, and you can go down to group. They're all grouped, so they're all one single entity now. And assets, just go over here again and add from selection. And you see straight away, you've now got your three triangles. And as before, you can drag them over here, drag them there, and drag them again. And you'll see what happens. You've got the group, which you can expand out, and you can select items, and you can remove them again doesn't have to be cast in stone. It's not permanent. With the triangle tool again, you can go up here to a layer and you can rasterize it, turn it into a pattern layer. So layer and new pattern layer from selection. You can see your pattern layer there. You can resize this design, set it to mirror and resize and rotate. You can then save that to the assets as well. Go again to the assets here Add from selection. And you can see now you've got your pattern design selected there. And at any time you can drag it over again and you've got your pattern layer. And you can add multiple copies very quickly here. It's still a pattern layer. It's also a great way of storing designs that you might want to use as a brush stroke. So you just create again another shape, triangle. You have to rasterize it so it can become a brush stroke. Go to layer and a rasterize. And you can save that, add from selection. It's just added there. At any time in the future, you can always simply drag there, go to the brushes panel, go to the right side and new brush from selection. And you can see it's added very quickly to that. Unfortunately, one thing you can't add, brushes. You can't store brushes in here. You might not be able to store brushes, but what you can store is the result of a brush stroke. So go over here to the paintbrush tool, select that, and apply paintbrush, any design, a design like that. Once you've got that design, you can save that, go over here to the assets again, and right side, and add from selection. And you can see it added quickly there. You can also resize it, rotate it, maybe duplicate it, but also you can go to layer, and new live filter layer, and down to distort and twirl and twirl the design. Change the angle, change the radius, and close that, and add from selection. And you can see it being added there. So you can add it very quickly again, and again, and again. And at the same time, all of these have got the twirl effect, which you can then modify individually. You can't save gradients, but you can save gradients that have been added to shapes. So I'm just gonna go over here, create another shape, and then go to the gradient tool, Apply your design, just simple design like that. You can tweak it, 
So just go up here to linear and click there to edit the gradient. Double click, change the color. And you can see you've got now a nice purple and green and black design. With that selected, again, go to the assets, right side menu and add from selection. And you can see it added there. It also saves blending modes. So what you can do, you can turn around and say, this layer here, you can see the layers panel, go down there and you can set it to difference. Now at this point, it doesn't make any difference. But what you can do is go to the assets again, right side and add from selection. Now when you add it again, so you just drag it from there and drag it from there, this time you'll notice there is a change. It's got difference, it stores that. So anytime you add it now, you can see you've got difference there in the layers panel. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.